and hot in the kitchen here. We're at Rangoli right now, just sort of a central location for us to be able to tell you all about the joy of feeding, which is happening at UBC Farms. It's a big fundraiser happening on Sunday. 16 countries featuring the best food that they have to offer by real people like Elena. Elena, where are you from? I'm from the Basque country, from the north part of Spain. And uh, I'm going to be cooking a couple uh, traditional uh, dishes that uh, over the years is the thing that they are asking me to cook over and over Perfect. and over. It's so what kind of ingredients do you have This here? is for the uh, tortilla de patatas in Spanish and then tortilla patatas in Basque. We have potatoes, garlic, onions. You can do it with only green pepper for the vegetarians and you can make it with chorizo, merguez for the meat lovers. And then we've got it all here cooking yes. up. And so what you do is you put it in oil and then uh, when the potatoes are mushy like this, then it's ready to go, okay? And then you put it on, onto the mixture that you already have here with the eggs. Be careful that you don't put all the oil in there, okay? And then is we are gonna cook one side onto the oil. And cook side, meaning you put it basically back inside a pan, right? Absolutely. So So let's show what it looks like. And then we're gonna going do, in. Yeah. So you we do this. You make sure that it's all the mixture is all mixed. All right. Okay. And then you pour it onto the hot oil. And let's get it flipped here. So you would let that cook for approximately how long? Like about a, a minute or so. Okay. And let's flip this one here, Elena. Okay. For more details, by the way, on the joy of feeding, so you can go to the website coming up on the screen. And, and there it is, finished right there. Okay. I will tweet a finished picture, Jody and Ria's. But again, right. a fabulous festival happening on Sunday, the joy of feeding. Thank you so much, Elena, for sharing your dish. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, it sure does. And we're getting ready for the joy of feeding, an international food festival happening at UBC Farms on Sunday. So we're cooking food from different countries. Up next, a sambal curry from Malaysia. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Hey, we're getting ready for the joy of feeding an international food festival happening in support of UBC Farms. And it's real people cooking real food from their countries. And now we've got Pat here. Pat, where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. And what are you going to be making for us today? I'm making octopus and prawn sambal. Okay, so is this a traditional Malaysian dish? Yes, it is. Excellent. And so tell us about the ingredients you have there. Okay, we have kafir lime leaves here. And we have blachan. We have fish sauce the octopus and prawns. We have uh, the chili powder, the paprika, and here is some of the sambal that we have, uh, the blachan that we have cut up. It's very strong and pungent, but once you cook it up, it tastes delicious. And we have the kafir lime leaves, and we've chopped that up, and also it brightens up the dishes amazingly. Tamarind gives it a sourness to the dish, and we have just salt and sugar and coconut milk. Perfect, I'll let you continue to make it. Now, Mira, let's talk a little bit about the joy of feeding. I mean, these are real people. That's the whole point. So these are real people, real home cooks, the the key to Joy of Feeding is you cannot be a professional cook to participate uh, in Joy of Feeding. And the whole point is to bring Vancouverites together and experience what are we eating at home, not what are we eating at restaurant. I know better than anybody that what we eat at restaurants is not what we're eating at home. And so this is just an occasion for us to link, as Vancouverites, let's link the environment and sustainable agriculture. Let's link culture and let's link family and let's link multiculturalism and let's link uh, nutrition. Fantastic. And, diet. and we've got Pat, of course, just finishing up the uh, sambal curry. Yes. Now, people yes. that come will be able to get these recipes, right? So everybody who enters the gate, ticket holders, they get a recipe booklet. So the whole point of Joy of Feeding is you meet the cook and you taste the dish and then you go home with a booklet so you know what the dish tastes like because you've tasted the way it's supposed to taste and then you can go home and try it out. Fantastic. Well, for more details, go to the website. But Michelle, sure to be fantastic weather for the event. And why wouldn't you want to meet real people like Pat? And how wonderful is it that on Sunday you can actually experience the food of 16 different countries cooked by people who are from there and not even professional chefs, just people that are passionate. We are taking you to Turkey next. We are going to be making some lentil and bulgur koftas. Stay with us. And the Joy of Feeding is going to be a spectacular event happening at UBC Farm on Sunday. 16 countries represented. And now we're focusing on Turkey with Elam. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Excellent. Tell us what you're making for us. I'm making red lentil and bulgur keftes today. Okay, so there's the red lentil and the bulgur. Yes. And you've got it cooked, right? Yes, I, got, I just got it cooked. Now I'll be mixing it with the ingredients. Okay. It's super easy to do. So first we put the sautéed onions, which I've done before. And uh, next one is uh, tomato paste. It's just one tablespoon. And now 
know, this is a red pepper paste. It's sweet and it's very popular in Turkish cuisine. It's a big part of Turkish cuisine. And, and what is Turkish cuisine as far as the, the flavors? What could you describe it as? Um, it's a good balance of vegetables and meat. Okay. We, we always make sure there's a good balance of vegetables and meat at the dinner table because we don't just eat one dish. We eat like different kinds of, you know, different kinds of dish every day. So we got to make sure that, you know, it works that way so, and it's balanced. Okay, very mm -hmm. good to know. Excellent. Okay, and then what so else? now, uh, cumin, it's one tablespoon. So would you describe this as, a, as um, an appetizer, or would this be part of a bigger meal? Uh, it will be just part of a bigger meal. Okay. And it's a good, um, I mean, I would recommend actually for people cooking this because it's um, it's a big hit at the parties. Okay. So when I bring this to the parties, everybody, you know, keeps going and taking more and more. It's more like a finger food, too. Yeah. And it's a big part of our, again, I mean, dinner table. Excellent. You know, I know people that have been to Turkey, and they say it's one of the most beautiful places. Yes, it is. It is. I'm, I'm proud of my country. <laughs> yeah, very good. What do you have in there now? It's olive oil. Okay. Next, we put the green onions. And this would be something that people can enjoy as a family for sure. I'm going to let you continue to make sure. that. Let's just show people what the finished product looks yes, like. Please. What would the flavor be like if I tried with um, it? It's savory with lemon juice, so it's uh, it's very refreshing. Okay. For more details on the joy of feeding, and it truly is a great family event. Uh, people can go and enjoy music, dancing, and food from 16 countries. And the criteria there back at the station is these cannot be professional chefs. These are real people cooking real food from their countries that they're so proud of. Thank you so much. and. Thank you. Sunday, more details on the screen. Sunday is a huge celebration called the Joy of Feeding. So all morning long, we're here at Rangoli making different food from different countries. This is the tortilla de, de patatas. That is from uh, Basque, so North Spain. Uh, we also had a beautiful uh, sambal curry out of Malaysia. And we just finished making these koftas right here. That is from Turkey. So 16 countries going to be represented. Real cooks cooking real food from their country. Coming up just after 8.30, Jody and Rias, we're just getting this ready. Uh, from Vancouver, BC, there's John Jandera, mozzarella, nut butter, and jelly pizza. That's all coming up next. It's an international food festival, and so now we're here with a, a Canadian boy. John, how you doing? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Excellent. Let's talk about what you've made here. All right, I just, uh, I love making pizza, so I, I thought I'd start making a peanut butter and jelly pizza. Excellent, and so this is your daughter, Jessica, yes. and, you're, and you're being put to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is really a family-friendly event. What else are we putting on there? Uh, well, we have cheese okay. as well, mozzarella cheese, and, uh, and then uh, some plum jam. Excellent. Where do you get your inspiration for? You're not, no one here are professional chefs. Everyone's just real people. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess my family is my inspiration. Yeah? yeah. And so Especially you, the kids. Well, you know, you got like nut butter and, and jelly, right? That's like right out of a sandwich, but better, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then what do we do with it next? Uh, well, see, we take it like this, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's in its uh, dough form. We have the, the the nut butter and then the mozzarella, and then we'll just put it in the oven. Okay, you go ahead and put right. that in the oven. By the way, for anyone that wants details on the joy of feeding, you can go to the website. It is a fundraiser for UBC Farms, and these are 16 countries being represented, all real people cooking real food that they love, and they've also got, of course, uh, the chefs on hand to sort of help just to make sure that everything kind of goes smoothly. As I can see, it is happening right here. Mary, you're going to cut that up, I'm sure. At some yeah. point, I know that we've got one in the oven. It should take, uh, John, about how long to cook? 90 seconds. About 90 seconds. So while you continue to do that, of course, we're into Canada Day, or we're getting ready for Canada Day. And I know at home we've been asking people what it means for them to be Canadian. We've been asking for five words. I just want one from a few people. What about for you, Jessica? What does being Canadian mean to you? Uh, I would say choice. Choice. What about you, Mary? That's nice. Happy. Happy. John, what about you? Uh, the culture. Culture. I love that. And we're getting a lot of culture with the joy of feeding, once again, with all these countries being represented, but an international food festival. And, you know, being Canadian is a part of that as well. How's that going over there, John? Is it almost done? Oh, it's almost done. And how hot does that oven get? It gets up to 750 to 950 degrees. Oh, my goodness. That's a hot one for sure. I'm going to let you continue with that. We've also had other uh, cooks here with us today. Pat from Malaysia. What does being Canadian mean to you? Family. Family. And Elena from Spain. What is for me is uh, multicultural is learning from each other so that, that we can actually see that, that we have a lot of similarities in fact so it's learning from one another it That's sure it. is and food is something that we all share and we all yes. enjoy there's the finished product again joy of feeding for more information you can go to the website this great fundraiser jody and riaz again for ubc farms and sunday sure is, is sure to be a great day